Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Dennis. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on the line comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far in Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. Now I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them, so don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Because now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable, to make a Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams or paying these expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money in its not very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide, and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again another request, which is how to show the Add to Cart button on the collection product cards on Horizon Team. A subscriber lately told me that you can only hover over the cart, then the, the Add to Cart button will show up. How to make the Add to Cart button visible all the time across all the product cards on collection page without having to hover over the product cart. That's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video because this option is not available on the team editor. You can only do it with you with your own custom code. And that's exactly what, why I'm here for. I only make things that's complicated and you cannot do it on the team editor. And of course, I do provide the code completely free. So I would appreciate if you hit that like button, leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. I do reply to each comment, so I would reply to you as well. And it's free. I mean the code, the comment, and the like as well. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, not in on it. In each video, I add smart customization. But a video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all in one reviews carousel with tabs, as you can see, from multiple sources for reviews. Check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. So this is the, the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I want to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user of how many products he added to the cart by using your own custom code. And it's by mouse trigger, as you can see. It detects when the user trying to leave, then it does show up. And all of this by using your own custom code. And many more, I cannot even mention them in one video. If I scroll down, as you can see, many, many, many things I cannot mention in one video. But as I said in this video, I will show you how to show the Add to Cart button all the time visible on the product cards on Horizon Team. So let's just close this one actually, and we will navigate to Horizon Team, which is this one. If I scroll down a little bit, as you can see, or let me access some collection from here actually, so we can see that more, more clearly. Let me access this one, yeah. And by the way, the hover effect, as you can see, the hover effect on cards, the, I mean the shadow effect, sorry, the shadow effect below the cards, as you can see, I just did that in my previous video. So make sure to check it out if you're interested in that, because the, the, the cards are already interactive, and once you add this shadow effect, they look way, way better, as you can see. But I'll let you decide again. So as you can see, once I hover over the product card, then it shows the add to cart, this one. How to make this one all the time visi visible on the product cards across all the products without having to hover over the product, as you can see. That's exactly what I'm about to do. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see the action. So the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file in ISS. Instead of looking at the files or folders like this, you might get dizzy, use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in base, and you will see base.css. Simply click on it, and a lot of code will show up. Now just scroll all the way down, it's a huge file actually, you need to drag this down. So make sure to drag the, this down all the way down to the bottom of the file. And in here, we need to create some space to paste in our code. And to do that, simply click front of the last name, in my case, it's closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new space to paste in our code. And where are you going to get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him with 25. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a website, my website, completely free again. Simply click on it and it will open up this website right here. Come on, open up. 
you make me feel bad now. Here it is. Now scroll all the way down and you will see this code. Then simply use this icon at the top right corner, then click on it and we'll copy the whole code and get back in here. Then paste it in the space that we did create. Now if we click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds, it save it. Yeah, it is. Now when we get back to, shove, uh, to our collection page on Horizon team, reload the page and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page and check it out. Now it's visible across all the cards. I don't have to hover, then it shows up as you can see. It's visible as you can see all the products without having to hover over it. And this option is not available on the team editor. You can only add them like once you hover over the card, then they show up. But now they are all visible. And if you have any video requests just like this one, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.